All right, Minister Franz, I'm going to be translating for you um, this wonderful and delicious Haitian recipe made with okra sauce. All right, let's dive into it. Okay, she's, she's actually um, say hi to everybody. And, Okay. Thank you for visiting our channel. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Okay, today I'm doing um, an, an okra sauce. A lot of people said uh, sometimes when I'm doing my recipes, um, I don't really show when... I'm letting the, the meat marinate it. So today I'm not going to make a lot of food. It's just a little bit something that for you to eat today. Okay, right now I'm just putting the, the seasoning. And I'm going to spread a little bit of lemon okay. juice on top of it. This is a goat meat. Okay. A little bit more seasoning. And after that, I'm going to spread a little bit of salt on top of it. A little bit of salt in it. All right. Now I'm going to mix it together. So I'm finished seasoning the meat. I'm just going to do something. And she already back. She put a pan. So she put a pan on, on the oven. And then on the stove. And she put a little bit of butter. Okay, this. The drizzle. Uh, it's gonna be good. Your mouth probably watering right now. This is an Asian recipe. It's an okra sauce. It's gonna be delicious. You need to try it. Okay, she's spreading the butter all over the fry pan. And uh, today, she said the meat is not gonna be a lot. Now, now it melts, she's going to put the goat milk, the goat, the goat milk. Okay, you pour it. Ooh, I can smell it. Can you smell it? <laughs> Listeners, can you smell it? Okay, she said she, I'm going to let it marinate it so that it can change color. This is a natural color because the way she's doing it, She's not going to put any tomato sauce. She, she's actually thinking loud right now, which I'm not going to translate for you. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to watch this. It's an Asian recipe. You can try it. You're going to love it. Okay, she said uh, for the meat to take a natural color as she's flipping it over, it's something that is very easy, she said. She said once it needs a little bit of water she will put it so right now <laughs> she was supposed to go to a graduation and kudos for the for for her husband her husband actually finished what she started now she's back okay she's she's gonna boil the, the goat meat in a pressure cooker so that it could cook fast. Right. 
since since she started yesterday and she let the meat marinate it so it's very good for that when you're cooking as a matter of fact okay she put a little bit of chili chili spicy thing in it all right. What do you think, listeners? I don't know where you're from as you looking at this cooking. You know, she's, she's just telling the story of the fact that she has to, you know, let the meat marinate it for a long time and then she started, she, she, she went back to the cooking the next day. And she also had a friend that was supposed to come over to, I probably will go after that video, she's, um, a friend gonna come over and show us some type of recipe. Okay, the friend already gave her a list of the stuff that she's gonna need. And the time that she's showing now, <laughs> it's it, it was actually nine o'clock, but, but but it was on a Sunday. But she said she doesn't cook that late. It's just for you guys that watching the channel. All right. Okay, she actually um, changed the meat from a different recipient. Okay, like I said, kudo for the husband <laughs> of Remed Natural. And she's going to put... Um, crabs red red pepper green pepper tomato slice not the sauce tomato slice a little bit salt and you can actually slow down on the on the salt because if you don't eat a lot of salt it's it's very good that you you know ease up on the salt don't go too much on the salt okay she's gonna she's gonna do it with white rice ladies and gentlemen white rice um, okra sauce with white rice try that thing oh it's beautiful look red pepper green pepper oh you can't beat that okay She's gonna put a little bit of uh, vinegar oil and she put um, like a, an entire um, pepper, you know, to give to give the sauce some flavor. And she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna cover it. And she also put a little bit of lemon juice. And she, she. She took a different pot and boiled some water and she's going to put the water into the okra sauce. Okay, if you only speak English, tell me that uh, say it so that I can hear you. Kalalu sauce. Kalalu. Okra. Okay, she put a little bit of more, more water in it. So since I don't do it with tomato sauce, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover it. The fact that you see you see the color. Look at this. This is this is red pepper, like the real pepper. <laughs> Very spicy. Okay, so the sauce kalalu is ready. The okra sauce is ready, people. Woo! You feel like taking a bite right now, huh? <laughs> and you can see how it's it's well marinated. You know, you could you could you could you could smell it. You know, literally, you could smell it. I'm looking at this thing, even though I 
I tried it already. I feel like taking a bite right now. <laughs> She's actually saying that um, of course sauce, it's, um, it's not easy to do, but it's not also difficult to do. She's gonna get a lot of comment. She's actually had a lot of comment. Um, there's a place in our country in Haiti that called Atiboni. They they harvest a lot of rice. So this is what she's saying there. She's saying she's saying that people from Latiboni they love uh, cooking of course sauce with white rice. And it's not slimy. Usually um, okra is a little bit slimy when you're cooking it. And the way that she did it, she did it. She she boiled the water aside. That's that's what actually, you know, have the 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 okra to keep to keep its body together, and it's not slimy. Okay, this is how she cooked. You see, you see the source? You see? She wanted to show us the source. You see? It's not slimy. And, and, and she said she cannot eat the, the, the source if it's slimy. And there's a friend that's going to be coming over um to cook another type of recipe with her and i'm gonna be chasing this video so that i can translate it for you guys in english follow the channel um subscribe give me a thumbs up or if there's anything that i need to do uh let me know and so that i can chase it for you guys and in this page all right minister france gotta be translating for you um this wonderful and delicious Haitian recipe made with okra sauce all right let's dive into it okay she's She's actually um, 